Bless up Electroculture family. We're out here today on the farm installing yet another CW1 aerial antenna. For those of you who are new to installing those, I'm gonna walk you through the basic steps of how I like to install them on my farm these days. So let's go. So we're installing this CW1 aerial antenna. It will go up here in the mass to mass mount once we're ready for that step. I'm assembling everything here on the ground because it's super easy that way. And then we can just simply set the whole contraption, which will only weigh like five or six pounds directly into the sleeve that's preset into the concrete and attach it to the ground wire. This is our mass to mass mount. I drew a little hole right here to feed our 10 gauge insulated copper wire. This wire will just be going from the antenna coupler to the coupler at the ground wire at ground level. The ground wire in the ground is bare wire. So this is just me feeding this wire through as I attach the sections of this sectional pole. So as I attach each section, I just feed more wire through. I've already done five of the eight pole sections. Now I'm gonna assemble the sixth one. And as you can see, I've already fed the wire through and I'll just feed it through this section and continue that process all the way down so you get to the bottom, tighten those together, and then just using these self-tapping metal screws and putting a couple of these in each section to hold them secure. At least two per section, maybe three. Okay, so I'll just continue that way all the way, I got two more sections to assemble. The second to last section will have another hole and I'll show you that in just one moment. So this is the second to last section. And as you can see down here, the wire is exiting a drilled hole. And then once it's set in the sleeve, this will connect with the ground wire and I'll show you that in just a moment. So we're just getting the antenna situated in the mass to mass mount here on the ground before we put it up. Trying to evenly tighten these brackets down. And as you can see, there's insulative rubber right there between the two metal contacts. Okay, now we can kind of test fit how far that's gonna to need to reach to couple into our coupler here. Go ahead and cut it. So here's the antenna installed on the pole before I set it up and put it in the sleeve, ready to go.